check this out. Excited for the series? Leave a big thumbs up for me. Let's get to 300 likes. And if you don't know, this series aims to showcase the best work from the FIFA modding community. And as always, the links will be in the description for all their work. So all the modded faces from this video are from my friend FCB17. But if you are a modder and you have your own faces, you can always send me something and I might make a video on it. But we're going to start with Mo Salah today. And as you know, the FIFA 18 Mo Salah that recently got updated was okay. It certainly was better with the new hairstyle and that. But... In the face, it wasn't as accurate as what a scan could provide, but FCB17 here has done a fantastic job to make it look more like Mo Salah than what FIFA 18 did. And you can see it around the eyes and the eyebrows, I think that's the major difference. And I think, while well, FIFA's one wasn't too bad, like I said, it just didn't look as accurate as it used to before. But FCB fixed that, and I think it looks better than the EA face. And this is the number one place for player faces on YouTube, so subscribe today and click the notification bell, and you won't be disappointed. The next face is Angel Di Maria from Argentina, and the main difference here that I notice is the eyebrows. They look a little bit longer going towards the nose, or the start of the nose at the top there, and they're also looking a little bit darker, so that's the main difference that I see there. If you see anything else, let me know. Now the next player is Griezmann from France, and both photos do have the updated hairstyle where it's a shaved head, just like he has in the World Cup, and I think the main difference here is the moustache. You can see in the concept photo that the moustache is more darker, it's more prominent, and the FIFA 18 one, it's more, it's more clearer. Like there's no, you can't really see a moustache if you don't look at it closely. And the eyebrows as well might look a little bit tweaked. I'm not sure, uh, but mostly the same. Nothing really too different. But I think yeah, like I said, the main difference is definitely the more prominent moustache in the concept photo. What the hell? <laughs> The next player, if you couldn't guess already, is Giroud from Chelsea, and it's going to be a little bit hard to explain this one, but you have to look at the arrows. Now, the big difference here between the concept and the FIFA 18 one is that the beard looks a little bit more thicker higher up onto the cheeks, and I think that's the best way I could describe it, but you would get a better observation by looking at the arrows yourself and then just comparing the difference. Um, let me know which beard you think does a better job of representing Giroud. I think FIFA 18's face looks pretty good as it is. And judging by the real life photo, I think the FIFA 18 one might look a little bit more accurate in terms of the beard. But it's all personal judgment at the end of the day. Let me know who you think won. And the next face we have today is Jack Wilshere. And you can see the big difference in the hair. EA, please give Jack Wilshere a haircut. It's about time. He's gone for the shaved haircut in the concept photo, which looks much nicer now than the hairstyle in the FIFA 18 one. Um, I'm not sure why EA haven't updated this, but possibly we will see the new face in FIFA 19. There is also a better beard on Jack Wilshere that reflects the real life photo better. And I think the main thing here is that the FIFA 18 Wilshere face is heavily outdated now. And this concept face puts it to shame, but hopefully EA can do something for FIFA 19 and give Jack Wilshere a better face now. So I hope you enjoyed the return of the FIFA Concept Series. Remember, you can support the channel on Patreon. I would appreciate it a lot. And if you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.